All right, Paul Fisher, headed to Notre Dame coming out of the U.S. program, a defenseman, a stay-at-home D-man, is that right? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, I can bring a little bit of offense, but uh, definitely more more uh, defensive, sure. Yeah, I can see the smile on your face, man. How exciting is this for you? I'm pumped. I can't even put it into words right now. It's crazy, like, you know, obviously to be drafted by um, an organization like the Blues is is awesome, but, uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. Even for a Blackhawks fan. You grew up a Blackhawks yeah. fan, right? But you're from Chicago, so people are going to understand that. Yeah. Who was your favorite player growing up? Uh, I always loved Duncan Keith and uh, Brent Seabrook. Um, growing up, they were they were awesome defensemen, and, uh, you know, winning, winning those cups, they couldn't have done it without them. Um, yeah. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, those guys aren't bad. All right, tell us about your game. What do you bring to the table? Yeah, um, I think I'm a 200-foot defenseman that can, um, you know, really affect both sides of the puck well. And, um, you know, just I, I, I'm a good skater with, you know, good hockey IQ, good first pass. You grew up playing for the Chicago Mission. I'm curious, though, you get to the draft, right? You spend all this time, you get to the fifth round. Are you, are you just waiting eagerly for your name to be called? What are your thoughts there? Yeah, I was I was pretty eager there. Um, you know, I, I actually felt pretty good about the Blues there. Um, right when it got past, I don't know even know who it was, um, the pick before, but right when it got to the Blues, I'm like, this could happen right now. And then I started to hear U.S. I'm like, oh, okay. And, uh, but yeah, it was it was awesome. What made you think that? Uh, I had an interview with them at the combine, and they were awesome. Um, I felt like I connected with their staff really well, and. Um, you know, I just like really liked them as people, and you know, everyone there was was awesome. So um, I just thought it was kind of a good connection. Um, so I'm glad it worked out. I would imagine you came to St. Louis as a kid for some youth hockey tournaments, but you said you went to a Blues game back in 2009, or when you were nine years old, right? Was yeah. that? Yeah. So it was, I was playing for the Chicago Jets. It was like my double A team, and I couldn't have been more than eight or nine years old. Um, and I just remember, you know, Blues. You know, their atmosphere was crazy, and. Um, you know, there was this guy like sitting in front of us. I don't know. Um, hopefully, he watches this, but he had like a blues like I don't even know what it was. It could have been a tattoo or like face paint on the top of his head, and he was just the whole game. He was let's go blues, let's go blues, and you know that kind of just shows how much they care. And um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for that. All right, we got to track down the guy with the yeah. blues tattoo on yeah, top of his head. Seriously. We'll have a reunion there. Yeah. Welcome to St. Louis, man. Thank you so much. Thank you.